Hello. Oh yes, in action star position. We're going to do some unboxing uh, because every now and then we get some cool stuff in my shop. And first of all, it's a new set from Magic the Gathering. Um, it's called Conspiracy. Right down. A very different box to what you normally get from Magic the Gathering. It is a card game for those that don't know. I'm going to do a lot of unboxing of various different things. Yes, we will swivel, swivel. Like it's on a conveyor belt. They're very different sized boxes because if you have a look at this one, this one we've got very flat, very dull. Decided to add shapes to liven it up. Conspiracy is the first expansion, well, in a long time where it's designed for multiplayer games. Uh, for, do booster drafts, which basically means you make a deck out of three boosters, picking the best card, swap it to your next person goes around the circle. And you can read the rules online. And basically you then, instead of having one-on-one -on -one matches, you have matches of multiples. So like, they recommend three to five, but in theory you could have a 20-man match and cause all sorts of chaos, although you'd probably be there for the next two years trying to complete the match. So when you open it up, here's what I made earlier, it also comes out in a nice sort of folded fashion. As you can see, we'll just tilt the camera up a little bit for a second. There you go. Nice big logos. There's a lot of cards from old sets as well as some from newish sets, and I'm just going to put them there. It's pretty good. There's a lot of good cards. In fact, a lot of people are going to get these cards when you go to Friday Night Magic. This is the promotional card. It has a new feature called Will of the Council. So when this card ends the battlefield, starting with you, each player votes for grace or con <laughs> condemnation. If Grace gets more votes, each player returns each creature card from his or her graveyard, meaning they've normally died or been milled, to the battlefield. If Condemnation gets more votes or the, or the vote is tied, destroy all the creatures on the battlefield other than the Mistress to Magista of Worth. Four colorless, one white, one black. And it's a nice holographic, it's shiny, Ooh, she's very shiny. She is a rare normally, I believe. But we're going to open boosters and see what we get. Expansion comes out on uh, Friday, and I'm scheduled this video so it should go up on midnight. Without any issues, uh, so we're just I'm totally destroying the packet. What have we got? A plated sea strider, one four two blue blue. That's not bad if you're going for a devotion. A zero three defender. When it blocks, it, you're going free life. That's that's a really good one. And uh, red mana, two mana, pull for each tap land your opponent's control. Really good. Five cost, but really decent. When it dies, deal three damage to target creature or player. That's reprinted, I believe. Skitter, multi kicker. You may pay an additional two cost any number of times as you cast a spell. Haste. Haste centers in the battlefield with plus one, one for each time it was kicked, so you can buff it up really quick. One, one for one cost, though. When it ends the battlefield, you may search for your lobby for up to three named cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. In the booster draft, you're probably not going to get many of those ones. Enchant creatures will come out, you may return to a creature card from Grievel to your hand. A 7 6 worm. Wow. Instant pervert, draw a card, tra tragic slip into the graveyard. <laughs> if his hair was a bit dark, it would look like Sting. Verbal wins, creatures you control with flying get plus one plus one, not bad for two cards. Intimidator, cowards, can't block warriors, okay. Creature elf, gamekeeper, heartless, hits his gifts too. And a conspiracy card. Conspiracy is a brand new card in this set for those that don't know. Uh, this card you put in before the game starts. At the beginning of the first upkeep, put a 1 1 colours artifact token with Defender onto the battlefield. So, turn 1 before it even starts, you get to put a creature on the field. Really good. And that's a 1 1 token. You don't care about that. That's good to have a conspiracy token. You don't get them in all the boosters, as far as I'm aware, because that was the rare. So, that would place the land by looks of things as well. That's pretty cool. So I'm just going to put the rares and uncommons to one side. Let's move these packets here. Um, we'll spend too long if we we'll do two minutes of packet. We'll be here for hours, so we'll just skip to the uncommons and rares for most of them. Cobweb Grinder, that's this, another good... We get two rares, yeah. 
Normally you get one rare booster, so this is pretty good. Draft it face up. As you draft a card, you may remove it from the draft face down. Enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters, where X is the number of cards you remove from the draft with cards named Card Grid Grinder. So, you could, the more you get, the better. Dark Jake's not forgotten. Oh no, my phone. Someone else will have to get that. Uh, it's about field X loss. One piece strider artifact creatures mean always colourless. Favorable wins. Souls to close. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Pop that there. Pop, pop, pop. Let's go with this. Let's pack it. That's um that fade and that boost on your left hand side. That is a planeswalker. Secret somewhere, another conspiracy card. Hidden agenda, start the game with this and you put a post-it note on it to name a creature. Whenever a creature with a chosen name enters the battlefield in your control, you may search your library for any number of cards with that name, reveal them, put them into your hand and shuffle your library. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Vortex, beginning of each player's upgrade, sacrifice it. And uh, Oh no, deals two damage to that player. If that player regains life, that player gains no life instead. For free costs, that's ridiculously good card. Enter the tax each turn of able for 5-5, five, five, doesn't untap doing the untap step when it dies you on. Whenever a creature dies, it untaps, that's pretty cool. Unquestioned authority, draw card, protection from creatures. Really good card as well. Really good cards. This makes the booster traps very interesting when you, you're facing four man games, five man games. And it's always elimination as well. That's in uh, Feros. Two full rocks. Death. Oh, and another conspiracy. Creatures who control the chosen name have haste. No one cares about that one. Death render. A quick creature gets plus two, plus two. Whenever a quick creature dies, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield and attach death render to it. Pretty cool. Pretty good, aren't you? One manga, quick creatures, plus two, plus two. As long as a creature has defender, it can attack as though it didn't have defender. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, let's go through them. No shinies, no foils. I wonder if there is any foils. We'll soon find out. Next one. Um, Sky Spirit, 2 2 first strike. Flying first strike. Each parley, new ability as well for magic. Each player reveals the top card of his or her library. For each non cloud reveal this way, you may put a free, free green elephant creature token on the battlefield. Each player then draws a card. Reckless Spice, destroy two non black creatures. You lose five life. Hydras, oh, and it's a mythic. And we've got immediate action again. When it deals combat damage to a player, uh, to an opponent, it deals damage damage to each other opponent. Ooh, that's just sad. Dick card for multi man games. Ridiculously dickish. Especially when it's an 8 8 for 6. If you're going green deck, that will work on any multi man game. Commander deck. Commander decks would be lethal with that card. Alter's Reap, that's always been the game. Find it, break through. There's about 7 60 new cards in this set. Brand new land, ignition team. And then dra artifact. Draft it face up during the draft, you may turn it down. If you do, look at unknown oh, boost back in draft or any boost back not being looked at by another player. Pretty good to see what the booster is like. Plan ahead, so to speak. Not too bad, not too bad. It looks like they've basically done away with land in the boosters, which is makes perfect sense to me. There's no reason why you should have land. And sort of deck like this where you're going to put land into the effect anyway. Ooh, Mortify. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Victimize, choose target creature cards. Aha, here we go. Dark Faden. Planeswalker. Planeswalkers are like players. You can attack them or attack the player. Uh, you always attack the player. Players always have 20 life normally. But he will start off with free life, and you can choose either to use his plus one ability when he comes onto the field. Where a target player draws two cards and discards two cards, or lose two loyalty counters to gain control of a target artifact, which, in theory, you could use any of these. For instance, that. Reveal it as you draft it, and note how many cards you've drafted this draft when including lurking automation. Lurking ultimate ends the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters, where X is the highest number you notice for cards named lurking automation. But that 
is going to be seriously good in the Commander. And we've got one, which is awesome. And a digital token. Magic did do a video of this set. You might want to look at it, see how it's played, because it's, it's hysterical, to be honest. And there's the non-shiny Magic Store. Well, there is a shiny. Oh, they do shinies. Yay, shiny. Add one to your mana pool, sacrifice the time effect, and creature gets without flying, gets minus one, minus two until end of turn. Pretty pretty good idea. Hmm. Not too bad, not too bad. Quite moving cards everywhere. Should get this down in under 20 minutes, I think. Bagel, the king of the turn, or legendary creature. When it deals combat damage to a player, exile any number of target non line permanents you control, then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Good if they're going to use the enchantments that you don't like. Pretty cool. As an additional cost to cast spontaneous combustion sacrifice creature, it deals free damage to each creature. Mm. Not too bad. And a 1 1 flying token. Creature spirit. We need tokens, especially for booster draft. Got a bin beside me, I keep forgetting to use it. And we've got here the fires of Yavimea. Oh, I don't know. Creatures you control have haste. Sacrifice it to get target, the creature get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Not bad. Defender flying, creatures you control with defender contact this turn as though I didn't have defender. I'm going to have to pause the video in a second since my Skype's going off, so I will be back in a second. Oh. Jump cut. Uh. Yeah, basically when you have a shot, you're going to get time to dine when you're going to be ridiculously busy. So let's continue on. We're not even halfway through yet. Let's see, we've got another conspiracy, hidden agenda. Whenever you cast instant sorcery spell with the chosen name, you may draw a card. It's, these conspiracy cards are good if you can get multiple cards on the same draft. If you're only going to get one, it's that, partic that particularly good. You may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay its mana cost. Um, that's not bad. Change the target. Oh, change the target of target spell with a single target. Good if you want to screw someone over. Destroy target artifact or enchantment, and up to one other target artifact. Earn an extract from darkness. Each player puts top two cards of his or her life into his or her graveyard, and put a creature card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Which means you could grab anyone's creature. It's really cool. And will cancel. Each player votes for blue, black, red, or green. Council card gains protection for each color with the most votes, the type of the most votes. So if everyone chooses to sit a different color, it could have protection from everything. Pretty cool. Um, you could be really dickish or really good on that one. Pop that there. Through this. Power play. If not, this will make you the starting player. Because starting player in conspiracy games, these modern man games, normally you don't get to draw a card, but you do get to draw a card, at least in our rules. You don't get to draw a card. Turn one player normally doesn't draw a card when they're playing one on one. Multi man game, you are allowed to. Uh, nothing spectacular. If a creature died this turn, you can put three 2-2 two, two creatures, not too bad. You may additional, pay an additional land on each of your turns. Really good. Ridiculously good card, actually, in green decks. Ridiculous. Alright, let's do this one. Ah. Do, do, do. Ooh, we've got a shiny on this one. Shiny land, add one to your mana tool, put a charge counter on it, remove a charge counter and add one mana of any colour. Sentinel Dispatch. Realm Seekers, enter battlefield with X plus one more counters by X and total number of cards in all players' hands. Remove a plus one counter from it, such your library for a land card, reveal it, put your hands off the library. At, when it's a six cost, kind of pointless that ability in my opinion. But that's pretty good if you get that out early, they normally have decent cards and you probably get a 20 20 out. Ridiculous what it can be on that. Huh? Okay. Um, put that way one second, guys. Jump card. 
jump cut for it too. Here we go. Next booster. We're getting some decent cards actually. A lot of these cards can be used um, in Modern or Legacy if they were in previous sets. And for the most part. Right, what have we got now? Modify, another modify, Glimmer, Point Stab, Manan's Battlefield, Exile, another target permanent. Turn out the card to the Battlefield on control at the beginning of the next end step. No, not bad. Leave the Stampede, look at top 5 cards you maybe line on increase cards among them, put the real cards in your hand, put the rest in the bottom of the library, not bad. It's sort of like Garrox's ability in Planeswalker. Legendary Creature. Each player reveals top of his library. For each non-land card real field this week, add at green to your mana pool, and you gain one life in each player's card. Called Trader. And a Squirrel Token! It's a token! Oh my god, Squirrel! Wow, Squirrel Ball! Noble Templar! We have another worm. Scotty too hot, he would be proud. Multi kicker. Every time you additional ends about field deals damage to, to target the it's equal to twice the number of times it was kicked. That's ridiculous. Uh, Velka worm, seven cost, enter the battlefield against seven live. When it dies, you draw a card, not too bad. Seven cost there. Magnus of the Mirror, sacrifice him, exchange life totals for target opponent, active his ability only during your upkeep. Choose a player, that player adds one mana of any colour he or she chooses to his or her mana pool. Yeah. So you can give it to someone else if you want to help them. That's 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 kind. Spells with chosen name you cast cost one less to cast as conspiracy and a spirit token. Hmm. There's so many combinations you can do on this set. So many combinations. I oh we've got a shiny on this one. Survive and Soul. Deals two damage to each other player you gain life damage dealt this way. Oh, oh, oh. Hidden agenda. Creatures in control with the chosen name have haste, yeah. Wolf Bar Elemental. Multi kicker. Every time it's kicked you get put a 2 2 token on. Not bad actually, for only one cost, one green. When it dies, each player draws a card. And may help you, may not. Flash. Plus two, plus two, and attacks each turn. Target gains flying until end of turn. Really good card. Really good card, actually. Flyers can only be blocked by other flyers or people that have reach. And so far, there's not many creatures that have reach in this set, so flying will be good. There is um, a card in the set called Plummet that they've reprinted. Um, there's a zombie token. Canal Dreger is, in fact, construct draft face set up. Each player passes the last card from each booster pack to a player who drafted the card named Canal Dredger. And then to tap it when it's costing out, put some card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. Not bad. Uh, enters the battlefield with X plus one, one counter zone of X and then we'll go for creatures on the battlefield. Remove plus one counter, put a one one token with flying on the field. Quick sound, that's what the spirit tokens was about. Spirit. Um, denial or duplication. If denial gets more votes, counter the spell. If duplication gets more votes, the vote says copy the spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Very interesting, that one. All well, 2 2 and vigilance and can't attack you or planeswalker you control. Really good, if it, especially on an opponent. It might get plus 2 plus 2, but then it can't attack you. Pretty awesome idea, actually. Loving that idea. You can work with people, or you can work against them. This is all about this set. Like that, it's in. Do, 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 do. Double stroke. Hidden agenda. When you ever cast an instant sorcery spell, you may copy it. Legendary creature. Visionary architect. Look at the top X because your laboratory X is the highest converted mana cost amongst artifacts you control. You may reveal an artifact card from among them, put it onto the battlefield, put the rest on the bottom of your library. Ridiculous, because this is all about conspiracy cards and artifact cards, because there's always going to be something like that in each booster. Choose two cards, Vigilance, let's check the darkness, yeah. Nothing of dangerously, nope. On to the second half. One dark food in. Um, token, wolf, hunger, like the wolf. 
Cogwell of Lethbarian. Draft it. You may draft an additional card from that booster pack. Draft it face out. Then go put Cogwell Librarian back into the booster pack. Dax Duplicate. You may have Dax Duplicate end the battlefield. Copy of any creature on the battlefield except against haste and dethrone. Whenever it attacks the play with the most life for time, for most life you put a plus one counter on it. So, yeah, ridiculous. Whenever a quick creature attacks, look at the top card in your library. If it's land card, you may put it on the battlefield tapped. And Wood Sage, 1-1, one, one, but name a creature card before the top four cards. Your library and put all of them with that name into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. I've got a perfect deck to put that card in. Oh. Uh, it's good for my Apostle deck. Um, ridiculously good for my Apostle deck, actually. Granted, it's been blue, but... Doesn't bother me. I've got colourless mana. That's, that's not even a card. Oh, shiny. Shiny artifact creature. That's, and another legendary creature. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may draw a card. Hmm. Not too bad. Fire Shrieker, that's been in the game. That's always an M40, M, the core sets normally. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Some decent cards to give away, some of those prices, sell them, stuff like that. We've got most of the. Drago's Favor, and eh, we're on that one. Another mythic, Pernicus's Deed. We're getting, that's four mythics now in the box. Sacrifice it, destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with converted mana cost X or less. Wow, it's pretty much all permanence. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, that is a ridiculous card. And there's not the yeah, commas now, don't have to worry about that. We see most of the cards now coming out. Uh, that's a shiny. An elephant to rest it on. Enter the battlefield and may destroy up the three target non creature permanents. Three permanent put in the graveyard. This way you put a free free green token on the battlefield. And again, I'm going to have to jump cut. One second. Cut again. Okay. We've got my next booster. Neither done. Neither done. What does the fox say? Well, he says silver chase. And we've got Cockwood Tracker. Taxi Churn of Nabal. Reveal it as you draft it and note the player passed it to you. Cogworth Tracker attacks the player you noted for cards named Cog Tracker turn each turn if able. Spirit Monger deals one more damage. To a creature, put a plus one counter on it, regenerate it, becomes color of your choice until end of turn to stop it from being protected. Wow. Okay. For rare, that's pretty good. Not got many boosters to go. Alright, next one. Oh, shiny rare. Uh, no more than one creature can attack each combat. No more than one creature can block each combat. Wow. And then put a 4-4 token on the battlefield. Some of you, each player chooses an artifact creature and a land from among the permanents controlled by the player to his or left. And then you destroy each permanent. <laughs> oh, God. oh, I can't wait to play this the Marvel Night in my Friday Night Magic Club. Life, minutes to learn, lifetime to master magic is, and it's just hilarious the amount of dick smooth. Scroll! Backup plan. Draw an instrument on the hand of seven cards as the game begins. Before taking your mulligans, shuffle all but one of your hands into your library. You get a free mulligan anyway. Uh, you may cast no one cards as though they had flash. Anytime, that's pretty good. Scale of scrying, additional cost, cast as X X comes from Google. You draw X cards and you lose X life. Hmm, it's very interesting. Oh, we've got four, nine, ten packets. Can never open these boosters properly. Always have to play the game. Everybody play the game. Love. Spirit token. Hmm. Preparations. Academy Elite. End of the battlefield with X plus one counters on it. Where X is the number of instant sorcery cards in all graveyards. Remove a plus one counter to draw a card and then discard a card for free cost. Lead the stampede, peace strider, soul catcher. When a creature will fly in put a plus one counter on it. Mm, interesting. Intro rest down. Looking decent enough to Alright. Demon. XX Demon. 
A for search. You'll reveal that as you draft it. Reveal the next card you draft and note its name. Whenever you enter the battlefield, you may search your hand and the library for a card with the name noted as you drafted cards. You may cast about playing this mana cost. If you search your library this way, you have to shuffle it. That's not a really good artifact creature. Ill gotten gains, exile it. Each player discards his or her hand and returns up to three cards from his graveyard to his or her hand. Hmm. Not bad. Nuch bud et ol. See. Elephant token. Cogbook Spy. As you draft it, you may look at the next card drafted from this booth to pass. So whoever drafts the next card, you get to see what they draft. Reflecting pool, add one mana of any type. Add to your mana pool one mana of any type that line line you control could produce. Hmm, not bad. Not a bad one. Chariot. Eh, eh. Going through them all. We've seen most of them. My pinky token. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So many boosters, I'm gonna get paper cuts. There's paper cuts for days. Legendary creature deals common damage to X out any number. Don't know my permits, you could only turn this card about on the field under the owner's control. It just genders. Hmm, not bad. I wasn't even paying attention to the camera on that one. I do apologise. First time doing this sort of thing like this with cards, is making sure. People can uh, hear me. I can't use an external mic, which some people say is wrong, but I'll take it from it. Gregor's favour, Sun Arbiter. That's, we've seen that one. Banshee. When it ends the battlefield, if a creature died, the stone target creature gets minus four, minus four. Indestructible. Say bye bye. When it ends the battlefield, exile number target permanent. Yeah, it's about the convention. Yeah. Me, me, me. Not a bad boost if you're drafting it, but. I kind of want a dark fade. Construct Defender, that's what you've been used for the conspiracy card. Look and Council's Judgment. So you each play votes for an online permanent you don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes, the type of most votes. <laughs> uh, I just love it because if it's in a four man game, they all say different cards, they all get exiled, so it's it's be, it's whether you want to be a massive dick or not to someone. Five to go. If you get a standard dark version, I'd be most happy, but it seems to be quite hard to get the foils. There's a, a journey. Sunstriker. Rare for now. Legendary creature. Not too bad. Four boosters are there. We're nearly there. Nearly here. Mythic law. Oh, a shiny, uncommon. The high city, it's a legendary land. Uh, as you drafted the player to your right, choose a colour, you choose another colour and play onto your left, choose a colour, and it can add mana to your mana pool of any colour. Can't really use that card in legacy games, unless you were drafting it. Sickness, or oh, each opponent discards two cards. Wow. Mental, to say the least. Very, very mental. Three boots to block. Three boots to block. Let's see. Emblem. Dark emblem. Ooh, hello. It's actually, my camera's actually picking up his face. That's cool. Whenever you cast a spell that tells us one or more permanents, you can control all those permanents. Conspiracy. Sky. Yeah, nothing. Nothing spectacular on that one apart from the emblem. Right, second last booster. Zombie, immediate action. Route. When you may cast route anytime you could cast an instant if you pay two more to cast it. Destroy all creatures, they can't be regenerated. Not bad. So for seven costs, ridiculous. For five costs, not too bad at all. And the other uncommons are nothing but all squirrels nests actually. Each land, enchanted land has tap, put a bomb on green squirrel token onto the power field. You're gonna die by squirrels basically. I can't say squirrels, I know I can't. Shut up, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Final booster. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, well, let's go one by one. Let's go one by one. Common. When we, each player votes for an artifact creature on enchantment cover in your graveyard, return each card with the most votes or tie for the most votes. 
Traveller's Coat. End the battlefield, choose land type. When it ends the battlefield, draw a card. It has land, walk of the chosen type, which is pretty good. Plane cycling, discard this card with such a library for a planes card with your lamp in your hand and shuffle library for six cost. No, pointless. Torch beans, small fish. Typhoid rats, death. One, one, death touch, yes. Oh, that's a good one. Anything with death touch is cool. Death weep, unquestioned. And the final card, Demir, Doppelganger, now Exile, target creature card from a graveyard. That becomes a copy of that card and gains this ability. So you can keep changing. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But ultimately, it's all about Mr. Dark Vader. Where was he? If I can find him. We got him quite early on. So it's just trying to see if we can find him in time before I shut the video off. Um, yeah, I've got too many cards. I didn't think this through. I should have put all the rares to one side, but I didn't. But a lot of legendary creatures, a lot of powerful cards, a lot of shinies. I'm going to have fun trying to sort through all of this now. So, If you haven't played Magic before, go to Friday Night Impact Magic event. There's a link on Wizards website to show you all the places for it. And you can get promo cards, win awesome prizes and stuff like that in each of its shops. There's plenty of places in Scotland that does it and in the UK. There was a, a Pro Tour qualifying Manchester last week. Got 1,400 people, so it is a big game. So look for it. Right, I'm going to go. I've got work stuff to do, and I've got to pick up a lot of cards. Because look, yeah, my bad.